Hello everyone. Now I want to defeat some of the bosses, but I want to do it in style, so I want to get the legendary equipment. So today we'll be collecting the legendary armor, the God Sent King armor, as well as the legendary bow, known as the Phantom Spark. I would have gone for the legendary sword and pickaxe, however for the sword the only thing I'm missing is the crystal part, and well, that can either spawn in a maze in the Forgotten Ruins, but I kinda explored all of that. And I haven't found the maze, which means it is in the wilderness. And that place is massive, and I haven't been there a lot. Then as for the pickaxe, that has changed over the year time. And it's now a drop from the Sky Titan, which I have yet to fight as well. And then it can be upgraded to the Soul Seeker by defeating the Lava Mass. So without any further ado, the first item we need to get the Spark Bow is this empty crystal. You can buy it from this guy, which is a person you get from defeating some of the early bosses. Cost 3k, so let me get that real quick. And there we go. Now we need to have these different protocols, our report and manuscript. And the way you're gonna find that is pretty simple. The world is kind of a big circle, as you see here with the devourer and everything is kind of around that. I'll leave a link in the description to a website where you can, you know, very easily find the circle where all these structures are located. All you have to do then, I recommend is just draw kind of like a circle in the biome where you have to look for. Well, like a quarter circle, more like. And go along that line, and eventually you will find what you're looking for. So in this case, for the Phantom Spark, we have to look in the ocean biome. I already did all the tedious work of making the half circles and looking around. I placed down portals for every one of them. Alright, so I'll be generous and quickly show you what I mean. This is a old save file. Uh, and that's just because this website worked kind of weird with how I have things installed. I cannot find my actual save file. It does have an auto refresh if you have it installed and can actually find it. But I had some kind of issues with that. So anyway, if you go to points of interest, uh, the yellow ones is what we need for this specific one. So you need the vault. And the broken cores is what you need to find. You do need to actually, like, have explored far enough so the lines will show up. So just make one straight line uh, to the bottom and you'll probably be good. This is also what we're going to be using in a second to find the Titan Temple, the Prince, King, and Queen Dungeons, which are located in the desert. But I'll come to that in a second. So what you're specifically looking for are just more of these temples. However, as you may notice, the entrance to these temples, especially the bottom entrance, are somewhat different than usual. They kind of vary. This one, for example, has four giant Yoda statues, but other ones can have a sunken ship and stuff like that. And then all we have to do is just make it inside and find the loot room. That should be somewhere near the middle of this place. So in these places, you'll also find these murals. And this is kind of what we're looking for right here, this core looking thing. However, and it seems like I've literally gone the wrong direction right from the start. There we go, finally. So this is what you're looking for in these larger places. Here's the override transcript. And in the chest there is the energy string that we're gonna need. Make sure to grab those as well. As you can see, this place is absolutely huge and it is in the middle of all of it. So always try to go there. However, uh, that's easier said than done. As you guys saw, I went the wrong direction in the first one. Now we need two more of these type of temples. For those who want to know, no, you cannot mine up Yoda and bring him back to your base. I know, it's a shame. Alright, let's go to the next two. Alright, so this is one of the other ones. As you see, this one has a sunken ship at the bottom instead of Yoda statues. And we have arrived. Here's another ship. There it is. There's the channeling gemstone. Alright, we're at the final one. This also has one of the boats. Seems like we got a lucky shot straight to this room. Pretty nice. So, a yoink. And a yoink. And now we can go back. Alright, now that we have all the pieces, there's one other thing that we have to do. But first of all, now we have all these little chips. Get the empty crystal. Right click. And wait like two years. And we got the admin key. The admin key has to go to a specific area. So for right now, if you found the vault, which is a very small, like, island in comparison, grab the admin key, shove it in the door, and here we go. Then inside, we find this, the Glyphid Parchment, and also a bunch of other goodies. Imagine how full our bag is just from that one room. And there we go, we can now finally craft 
the bow. And there we go, the Phantom Spark. In comparison, this was the best bow I was able to use right now. The damage output is a lot better. Even the Phantom Spark's minimum damage is higher than the Octarine Bow's maximum damage. It has the same attack speed, and it can also summon phantoms uh, upon kill. It has a small chance for that. And then it has a bunch of other good buffs. Alright, now that we have the Phantom Spark, let's go get ourselves some armor. For this one, we have to go to the Desert of Beginning. And just to go back to this tool real quick, that I'll link in the description. We're going to have to find the King, Prince, and Queen Dungeons first. The Titan Temple comes last. The Titan Temple is also the hardest to find, as it is kind of buried in mountains most of the time, and very small. The big dungeons, however, these will be truly massive on the inside. These are giant maze-like structures, and the middle of them holds what we need. Again, just as the other one with the Phantom Bow, I recommend you make a quarter circle in the biome we're looking for. As this one is located in the Desert of Beginning, just only mark it in the desert. This place is also littered with booby traps, so do be careful. They don't deal that much damage, but like it can add up over time, right? Uh, just as the other one, I do think we can actually mine through this wall if we have a high enough mining damage, which I do not. Usually what I do with mazes as well is I like to hold, keep the map open, because we can still move. You cannot really see the traps now, but... And we're stuck. Okay, maybe it doesn't work as well in this one due to all the traps. And here we go. So the... It is blocked off somewhat. Ouch. Ouch. And this is what we're looking for. A key item. The compass. And now we cannot take the sarcophagus either. We can, however, take a couple of the other things here, like these vases. Or the urns, apparently. Whoops, my bad. Right, let's head over to the next one. All of these are going to be pretty much the same, just the layout is going to be a bit different, I suppose. So as you may have noticed, all these items refer to the different bosses we get to fight. I haven't even defeated them yet, so I don't know why they're already stuck in urns. Alright, and then we are at the final one. But there we go, that's the final piece, and we got a bag of marbles. Alright, the final location is this temple right here. Mine was completely buried into the mountains, so you will have to dig for the Titan Temple. And there are some nice thrones and everything to be collecting here too. Right, so with these temples, there's a bunch of goodies and there's also a mural here. The murals I'm pretty sure seem to refer to the different bosses. But anyway, all we have to do is we have to give them the items we just got and that unlocks the chest. And there's our first piece. All right, there's the second piece. And then, of course, the final one, which needs the uh, feathers. Oh, I accidentally dropped that. And there is our final piece. And the dash feather as well. Now, if you thought that was everything here, it actually is not. There is a hidden room right behind the mural, as you see on the map, because I already found it. What you'll have to do is you'll have to figure out where behind these temple walls there is this hidden passage. And there is a giant loot room. And it has some goodies in it as well, like Starlight Shards, a Galaxite Bar in my case, as well as a Astral Jelly. Alright, now that we have everything here, let's try out our new set. Would you look at that? Which now means we don't actually need this Galaxite set anymore. We look so beefy as well. I think that's just due to the feathers. Also, something special about the Phantom Spark that you may have noticed is it doesn't have any durability, which is pretty neat. Unlike the armor set though, sadly. But also with this set, as well as the dash feather that we got, we can go pretty quickly now. Not sure if I'll be using it. It is quite nice, it has a lot of movement speed, but this just gives a lot of armor. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today's episode. We were not gonna be able to get the sword as well as the pickaxe until a later episode, so stay tuned for that. Because I do still want to get those items. We're going to have to defeat the bosses first, and that is something we'll be doing in the next episode. So I hope you all enjoyed, I'll see you on the next one. Bye everyone.